Ladies and gentlemen, this is Jennifer Myers reporting live from the doorstep of the house where Thomas Anderson and his siblings, victims of abandonment, once sought solace. It is a poignant reminder that there are two distinct types of orphans in this world, those who have tragically lost their parents, and those like Thomas, who were abandoned by theirs. The distinction is crucial, for it speaks volumes about the journey that Thomas has embarked upon. The absence of parental love and guidance became the catalyst that fueled his insatiable thirst for knowledge and understanding. From a tender age Thomas found himself drawn to the realms of philosophy, religion, and science, seeking answers to the profound questions that echoed within his soul. In the face of abandonment, he refused to succumb to despair. Instead, he transformed his pain into a relentless pursuit of truth and meaning. The confines of this house, once a prison of neglect, became a sanctuary where he delved deep into the realms of thought and sought solace in the wisdom of great thinkers who had come before him. Inspired by the echoes of his own experiences, Thomas explored the teachings of ancient philosophers, seeking solace in their contemplations on the nature of existence, the purpose of life, and the intricacies of the human condition. He turned to the texts of religious scholars, embracing the stories and teachings that offered glimpses of hope and redemption. But Thomas's thirst for knowledge did not stop there. He delved into the realms of science, seeking to understand the intricate mechanisms that govern our universe. The wonders of biology, physics, and psychology became his playground as he sought to unravel the mysteries of human existence and the interconnectedness of all things. It is within the crucible of his abandonment that Thomas found the spark of inspiration, the driving force that propelled him forward on his intellectual and spiritual journey. The scars of neglect etched upon his heart gave birth to an unyielding determination to forge a path of understanding and compassion. As we stand here today, on the threshold of the house that once held both sorrow and enlightenment, let us acknowledge the resilience that resides within the hearts of those who have been abandoned. Let us recognize the transformative power of adversity as it can shape individuals into beacons of empathy and seekers of truth. Join us as we delve deeper into the story of Thomas Anderson, witnessing the profound impact that his early experiences have had on his intellectual pursuits and his unwavering commitment to making a difference. This is Jennifer Myers, reporting live from the house that births both pain and inspiration, reminding you that within the depths of despair, a flicker of hope can ignite a flame that illuminates the world. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Jennifer Myers reporting live from the very doorstep of the house where Thomas Anderson and his siblings experienced a childhood filled with profound loss and abandonment. As I stand before this weathered facade, I can't help but feel the weight of the pain that once echoed through these walls. This house, now a silent witness to their struggles, serves as a solemn reminder of the absence of hope that permeated their lives. The laughter of children and the warmth of a nurturing home were cruelly replaced by an overwhelming void. In these very rooms where sunlight once danced, darkness settled, leaving only shadows and unanswered questions. Da, da, da.